Hello everyone, it's been a long time, but welcome to another battle report for my channel. Um, like Standard Games, it's been another Kings of War battle report. Um, this time it is Doris versus Herd. 2200 points and the scenario was Pillage. So this was a tournament over in Omaha, Nebraska a week ago uh, yesterday. Um, it was a one day three game tournament, 2200 points. Um, the only thing special about it was the COK, the Clash of Kings comp pack was in use, uh, mostly just for the flyer stuff and army composition. It doesn't really come up, um, but just to bring out that it was. Um, so here's an action shot of my uh, dwarves I brought. Um, my wife had finished the display board uh, just in time, so figured why not include a shot of that. I do have shots of the other armies that were at this event, but I will get to those in a different time. So my list is as follows. Uh, I have two regiments of Iron Guard. Both of them have dogs. One of them has the two-handed weapon upgrade. I have two hordes, horde of earth elementals. I have a regiment of Berserker Brock Riders with Caterpillar Potion. Two flame belchers. One greater earth elemental. One army standard bearer with the healing charm. One ranger captain with the wings of honey maze. One Berserker Brock Lord, uh, or Berserker Lord on a Brock with the Blade of Beast Slayer. And to round it out, I have two Stone, oh yeah, two Flame Belchers and Steel Behemoth. And then two Stone Priests, both of with Bane Chant. One of them has the Inspiring Talisman, and one of them has the uh, Fireheart Amulet, which is two spells in one turn. <clears throat> so, uh, game one, uh, my opponent via random selection with a guy named Dan. I've played him before. It's very pleasant to play. Um, he brought his herd. Um, it actually funny played Dan once in a team tournament back when we were still playing Warhammer Fantasy, and um, he was playing Beastman at the time as I was as well. So it was kind of fun to see him again. Um, so he is one horde of guardian brutes with caterpillar one horde of guardian brutes with no item seven troops spirit walker troops uh stampede well it only i think it only comes in horde but i said horde uh, a beast pack which comes in regiment or troop he has a regiment he has a shaman heal five uh, he has a brutox he has the great totem Excuse me, and he also has a lichen alpha, which is the inspiring talisman. So <clears throat> I'll go straight into deployment. So from right to left, uh, Dan has the uh, or he he has his uh, his dogs are way over there. Um, then next to those are two spirit walker troops, and then a spirit walker troop in front of the no item guardian brutes. And you can see his uh, his totem there, um, which is really pretty misplaced, and he knew that coming into this. But so his totem's right there, so it makes no no real uh, effort on the game. But you can see there's two tokens over there in his center again. Um, so those spirit walkers and guarding boots over there. But um, <clears throat> so it's a bit hard to see. But so it's two spirit walker troops in the front. The old Doom Bowl model with the wings is his Lycan Alpha. So that's his, that's his werewolf. Uh, uh, behind the right spirit walkers is a stampede. Behind the left spirit walkers is his guardian brutes with caterpillar. And way on the end, he has two spirit walker troops in front of his brutox. So <clears throat> uh, my, my deployment, um, this is after Vanguard, so you can see my ranger captains out there. Uh, from left to right, my tank, uh, my iron guard with dogs. Army Standard Bear, Healing Charm, Stone Priest, uh, Earth Elementals. Uh, behind the Earth Elementals are my Iron Guard with the 200 weapon upgrade. Flame Belcher, Greater Earth Elemental, Flame Belcher, Earth Elementals, Stone Priest, um, Brock, Lord, and then uh, the Brocks. <clears throat> um, this also gives in a clear shot where you can see the three tokens. So this was a, we rolled up for five tokens. I rolled the extra token. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little sick, so I'll try not to uh, be too disruptive. Um, so we rolled up for five tokens, and I rolled to place the extra token. Um, so I placed all three tokens um, essentially on this side of the board, the left side of the board, kind of using that middle 
impassable terrain um, to my advantage. And my opponent places two tokens on the other side of the board. So being pillage and not kill and pillage, you just have to get the token. So fortunately, I also picked or rolled to pick the side. So of course, I picked the side with the easy to get to token. So um, that's just showing the other side. So you can see where the other two tokens are. So turn one, spoiled, but yeah, dwarves get turn one. Uh, so I just advance forward. Um, <clears throat> not a lot, not a lot of concern right now. Uh, and see on this side. I don't send my Brocks up too fast, but, you know, they're over there just to uh, stall my opponent, more or less. Um, shooting my Ranger Captain does a one mighty wound here. So, that was fun. Um, and then in some other shooting, I did surge my... I didn't put the thing in here, but I did surge my two different elementals. my uh, The left toward and the greater forward. Looks like. So, uh, heard turn one, he just moves up. As is, he doesn't have a, uh, ne neither of our armies are very, um, hard to play. <laughs> Let's just say it straight. We're, we're, we, they both just kind of go forward and smash things. So, uh, that's what it looks like on the left. And then on the right, he just, he just kind of moves up his full, his full swing. So, uh, turn two, uh, turn two, the dwarves <coughs> engage. Um, he had moved all in the, in the middle, he had moved his spear walker, Troops in range, so um, you can see, and I'll get a better picture of this later, but the Greater Earth Elemental goes into a Spirit Walker troop. The Berserker Lord on a Brock goes into the Lycan Alpha, and then the uh, Earth Elemental Horde goes into the other Spirit Walker troop. And my Flame Belters move up to Flame Things. Uh, on the left, I'm a little more uh, cautious. Um, I didn't need to be. Um, there was no real reason for it. I, I should have pushed, I should have pushed harder, but, uh, my tank is in range to shoot, <clears throat> which is a, a theme kind of for this tournament. But anyway, so there's the other side. I actually put my, push my, uh, Berserker Brock Riders back, um, out of his charge range. Um, there's no way they're going to clean up everything over there. Um, they could certainly go down fighting very well, but it doesn't provide me much value. So I'm just backing them up because essentially I just want that stuff on that side of the board to stay on that side of the board. And then I clean up the rest of the board. So uh, here's another shot of the combats. So you can see everyone kind of crashing into the middle. <coughs> um, so we go into some magic. I get Bane Chan off on one of my um, iron or, uh, flame belters. And I get Bane Chant off on my tank so shooting um i think i threw a dog too but anyway mostly it's the tank uh breath weapon these guys in the front and they're fine uh over here i get a pretty good breath weapon i end up getting a both of the the um what are those things called <laughs> flame belters why am i having trouble with that uh combined flame bel belters get actually 10 damage on the stampede which is pretty good um but i don't roll enough to to waver them because that's really what i wanted um just so they couldn't do anything next turn but you know, I'll take it. It's still still a pretty good job. Um, the only the only thing I didn't show is my my ranger captain charged the guardian brutes at the top. You can't you can't really see him because of the wings. This picture is the same. So trust me. So uh, in combat outcome, <clears throat> my uh, greater earth elementals clean up that troop of um, spirit walkers. No problem. Um, there you can see my ranger captain went in and did a couple damage. Uh, and you can see my berserker, my berserker lord kind of flubbed it and only did three damage. But, he did his purpose. So, um, herd two, uh, herd two is basically just reacting. Um, that spirit walker troop at the bottom there that got breath on charges my iron guard. Uh, spirit walker counter charges my greater earth elemental. Um, his stampede, <clears throat> so he, he moved his Lycan Alpha <clears throat> over to the left. He couldn't he couldn't charge around my Brock Lord to charge one of my Flame Belters. So, and he couldn't charge my Brock, well, he couldn't charge my Brock Lord if he wanted to get his stampede in. So, essentially, he just sidestepped his Lycan Alpha and charged his stampede into my um, Earth Elementals, which is fine. And over here, 
he realizes that I'm not going to come to him. So he kind of just full bores on into my, uh, right into the face of my berserkers. So they can't quite get out of fighting next turn. Over here, um, not surprisingly, these um, guys don't really do any damage to my defense six iron guard. Um, surprisingly, this troop actually does three damage to the uh, greater earth elemental. Oh, like, yeah, they got Bane Chanted, so that makes sense. Oh, and over here, the Stampede um, does does enough damage, and my um, Earth Elementals actually weren't inspired. Um, whether it would have helped or not, you know, that's, that's, you know, neither here nor there, so they're gone. Um, and so then, funny enough, my um, my Ranger Captain actually survives um, this attack. It, it was fortunate that I stripped his Thunderous Charge off. Um, but my ranger captain takes seven damage. He actually gets wavered, but he, he's still there, and that's that's all I wanted him to do. So, perfect. So, turn three for dwarves. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, it's getting to do or, die, do or die over here on the right side. I know I'm probably not going to keep these Berserker Brock Riders around, so I might as well kill something with them. So, they go into one of those Spirit Walker troops. Um, on the left, my tank moves up. My tank was not in range, so he just moves up his movement, and he is going to flame some more. Um, my Berserker Lord goes back into Lycan Alpha. My um, Ranger Captain just stands in front of those Guardian Broods, and my Greater Earth Elemental goes back into his target. Um, yeah, so everyone else is just kind of moving around, you can see. So, uh, into the shooting phase, I get Bane Chant off on both of my uh, organ guns. And so on top of my, both of my organ, I, not my organ, I'm sorry, my flame belchers. Um, I think what I do is I put one flame belcher and a dog into the stampede, and that was enough to kill him. And then I think I put the other flame belcher into the guardian brutes, but I can't, I can't be 100% on that. But there's something like that. So anyway, the main point is the stampede is gone, and that is awesome. Um, on the other side, this tank gets pretty lucky and picks up that uh, troop of, of uh, spirit walkers that were in front of the Brutox um, and also ignore the zombie trolls on the other side of the table. They are not part of this game. Um, again, my my Berserker Lord, just, I'm just not rolling very well, but he does end up wavering the Lycan Alpha, which is just, just fine with me because um, otherwise he was going to eat a Flame Belcher this turn. So that's awesome that he has wavered. Um, and my uh, Greater Earth Elemental goes in and just rolls really bad for the nerve check on these on these guys. So they hang out. Uh, other combat, my Iron Guard pick up these Spirit Walkers, which was a pretty expectation. And the Berserker Brock Riders pick up the Spirit Walker troop. They hit and position as such so no one's flanking them. Oh, it's kind of an outcome of Dwarves 3, and you can see on the other side. So I'm cleaning up pretty good, exactly where I wanted to clean up. Heard, turn 3, um, he sends his Brutox into my tank. Um, the, the Shaman that's been running around on the left side goes and hides behind the Guardian Brutes. Uh, the Guardian Brutes go back into the um, Ranger Captain, which is just fantastic for me that he's still there. And the Spirit Walkers go into the um, Greater Earth Elemental, which is just fine. Uh, on this side, the Guardian Brutes and the Spirit Walker Troop double charge my Berserker Brock Riders. Um, I've already ridden them off, but I'm not actually too worried just because they have such a high nerve that they'll probably actually survive this. So, <clears throat> just an action shot of that. I had essentially finished my <laughs> Berserker Brock Riders just before this tournament so uh, outcome of combat as you can see uh, he does 11 damage which was pretty low um to my berserker brock riders he should have done a lot more than that but so they held out so that's just just amazing um and on this side he routes my ranger captain which is a okay he isn't supposed he doesn't normally live and this game he he earned his points in double um and over here, he didn't roll very good for the Brutox. Like, he didn't get very many attacks. Um, and he just didn't hit very well. So, uh, Mr. Tank lives. So, <clears throat> the end of 
the end of herd three, so everything's going the door's way. Um, so doors turn four. Uh, the tank countercharges the Brutox. The elementals go into the flank of the Brutox just to really make sure we pick him up. Um, um, yeah, so the, the Berserker Brock Lord goes into the Lycan Alpha again. Um, both of the Flame Belchers reposition to shoot the Guardian Brutes. Um, my Iron Guard there at the bottom uh, starts swinging around so they can at least face an incoming threat from the other side of the board if they decide to come. And my <laughs> Greater Earth Elemental is still playing with those Spirit Walkers in the middle. Um, on this side, uh, I know these I know these Brock Riders are, are toast next turn, so I want to actually kill something with them. And, I mean, I probably wouldn't kill the Guardian Brutes because they are Defense 5. But the Spirit Walkers are Defense 3, so uh, we go into the Spirit Walkers, as you could expect. Um, shooting phase, um, I'm, I'm actually getting really lucky this game with my Bane Chance. Uh, I don't think I failed a single one, and I did get to like Bane Chant almost every single turn, so that was great. Um, I do a ton of flame into the Guardian Brutes, and I waver them, which is fantastic. Um, not surprising the... Combine flank and the tank um, take out the take out the Brutox. Uh, they do reform and turn around after this. I just don't have a picture of it. And yeah, I picked up the Lycan Alpha this turn. Uh, my my Berserker Lord finally decided he wanted to play, and he ate him up. And then I also picked up the um, Spirit Walker Troop, the Greater Earth Elemental. And on the other side, I also pick up that Spirit Walker Troop. So. Um, they're doing exactly what they need to do. So, let's see, end of doors turn four, herd turn four. Sorry, the pictures get a little bit, um, quick here. Because we are in a tournament, after all, and there isn't actually that much going on. So, um, the dogs come into play for the game. So, they come in to flank my Berserker Brock Riders, which is fine. And the, uh, Guardian Brutes go in the front. His Shaman back there, um, got some heals off on these Guardian Brutes, but it wasn't enough uh, in combat the um, combined dogs they he didn't double one my berserker Brock so that's that's all he needed so he picks them up uh, we go into turn five <clears throat> um, turn five you can see it looks like this so um, I've got undamaged well nearly undamaged units on every token on this side um, the Guardian Brutes at the top were really damaged, so I just send in my Berserker Brock Rider to uh, hopefully go clean them up, because he can't, since this is Clash of Kings, um, you can't, War Machines and individuals obviously can't hold uh, objectives, so he is the best choice for that, uh, and then I move my Flame Cannons over with my Bane Chantable characters, Bane Chant characters over, in case he decides to come around on his turn five or turn six. So there's the other view of just what I'm saying, because he's he did turn his dogs around um, because he has to go back and, and claim that objective. If he was the only way he was going to get anything done here at this point was go back to claim the objective and then to send those um, brute no not brute. <laughs> No, and they're not Minotaurs, Guardian Brutes, over to somehow either contest or steal an objective from me. So, uh, the Berserker Lock Brock Rider, I uh, then does what he does. He um, smacks down monstrous things super good with the Blade of Beast Slayer, so they're gone. And so, there's the end of Dwarf Turn 5, so I easily have three tokens. He can't contest or do anything about it. And I've got a nice little defensive position if he comes around that rock. So... You can see here in herd five, he doesn't come around the rock. And here's the other picture. And this is this is the last picture of the game. So he says, okay, I'm not going to come around this rock. I'm not going to be able to take this from you. I'm going to stay back here because attrition does matter in this tournament. So he was just going to minimize his loss at this point. And I said, you know what? That's, that's fine with me. Um, yeah, we could roll up for, I could try to move up and try to flame something next turn. But I said, that's fine. I obviously won. Not a big deal. So, end of the game. So, results. A, uh, a clear dwarf victory. Um, the dwarves picked up three tokens. 
Well, the herd had two tokens. Uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me for the attrition bonus, but it was definitely a, a thousand point plus uh, a thousand point difference. Um, so it was like plus two point. It was like a it was like a seventeen three or something like that uh, in the game in the, in the tournament scoring at the end. So, uh, so plots. I mean, Dan. I've played Dan several times now. He's always a great opponent to play. Um, actually, yeah, I do have a Kings of War battle report against him from a long time ago. Uh, from a tournament they also ran over in Omaha. But, <clears throat> so it was fun. Um, it's a nice way to start a tournament. Um, it was a bad, I think it was a bad matchup for my opponent. Um, both from the scenario and just from the army composition. I have a lot of breath, weapon, and he has a whole lot of defense, three defense, four stuff. So, I was pretty able to take advantage of what he had. Um... Yeah, I, he was just in a bad spot starting it out, and he spread himself out a little too far on the line. Um, <laughs> my comment here. The, this was probably the closest thing I had to a use a good use of my tank this whole game, or this whole tournament. Um, I brought a steel... I don't know, I'll talk about it if I do like a tournament review. Um, I brought the steel behemoth because I didn't have enough Brock Riders painted to make the army I wanted. Uh... So, I'm, I'm used to playing 2,000 points with so 2,200 points, and I was like, well, you know, I could shift a couple things around, and I could fit a tank in. Why not? Um, I just, I don't like it. It's so slow, and it's so many points, and the next two um, scenarios make the tank really rough to use, um, at least usefully, because they're, cause they end up both being... Um, <clears throat> like control based scenarios like either dominate or invade so it's just the tank is so slow and, if, and it has to score because it's so many points so it's it's easy to misuse but i think the tank worked okay in this game um he took out a brutox more or less which was great um otherwise yeah my army performed exactly as i wanted it to uh so i can't yeah, i don't have anything bad to say it was it was a good clean game so um thanks for watching guys and listening to me ramble and probably uh, cough and sniffle a lot. Uh, sorry about that. But anyway, we'll um, I'll catch you next time. I have a couple more uh, games from this tournament to do. So goodbye.